Business disruption has been around for many years, but with COVID-19 striking the whole world, everyone has found our work interrupted. Now, how what has been our experience? How have we coped with it? We speak to many Singaporeans to find out about how they have managed this new disruption in their lives. Okay, when COVID first struck, I was in my final semester of university. So upon graduation, entering an uncertain job market was actually uh, causing me to have a lot of anxiety because a lot of my classmates also wasn't able to find jobs. I guess you might not have as much freedom to choose what you would like to do. Mm. So I think in that restriction, thinking about how God would still provide and you know, even if it's not your ideal job or if it's not, let's say, what I want to do as a fresh grad, it might not necessarily be the wrong path. Um, I think when COVID hit, uh, firstly, we can't run our normal classes. I think that's one. And um, secondly, um, I guess everybody was just like not too sure kind of how long this situation will last and, and all of that. So uh, we have a young kid and our young kid was also at home. So we we're also trying to work while uh, kind of like trying to get some work done at the same time. So I guess uh, with like many other young parents, it was a challenging time like, to kind of just juggle both at the same time. Well, interestingly, this is a new job that I've accepted and uh, I went in on the first day straight into lockdown. The nature of my work is I interact with clients, but I work through the colleagues who bring me in like a specialist. So instantly it got uh, a direct impact because uh, one, my colleagues, my new colleagues ever met me. I think we were just worried about not being able to deliver quality teaching to the students, um, not preparing them enough. And also, I think some of us were quite worried about um, the students' mental well-being. Having to be cooped up at home, we know that it's not very healthy for them. So that was something else that we were pretty concerned about, like knowing whether our students were able to cope well with uh, the quarantine, having to stay indoors all the time. I was in uh, banking for 25 years, took a bit of a sabbatical, then uh, started a uh, small business, uh, invested the time, invested finances into the business, and just as it was about to take flight, COVID hit. So the core of our business actually is in events catering, and of course you know during this time, uh, during this season, uh, events can't really take place. So it's about 90% of our core business. So um, it's heavily affected and we can't expect the same kind of uh, constant revenue streams. I obviously haven't faced anything like this before and there are no reference points. And I think nobody has any, any, any idea how this will turn out. COVID-19, if it has been impactful enough for the individual, we do hope that they will ask deep questions and and actually uh, maybe draw themselves towards God. But, but I think it's a very individual thing because uh, a, a tough situation can turn a person either further away from God or it may, it may draw a person uh, to, to turn to God. I do feel like in such volatile times, um, people do need an anchor, whether whether uh, they, they know that the answer could be faith or it could be something else, like whether it's their job or family or savings or whatsoever. Like. So I think in these times, probably faith would be something that's a bit more relevant, you know, so that people can also kind of make sense of actually what's going on in the world and, and you know, <laughs> it's just, just getting messy and messier. So, so what is the true, I think, purpose and, and the meaning of life and existence? I think, that's, that's, I think these bigger questions uh, tend to rise up to the surface a bit more during times of crisis. Uh. So I would say that uh, prob probably in these times, actually, faith is more relevant than ever. Yeah. Um, it is challenging to be, to be consistent and, and to, to, to hold on to the things that you, you so easily proclaim about when things are doing well. But I think when things are not doing well, how do we strive to be faithful and consistent in our faith and our pro proclamation during that uncertainty, I think that is the great challenge and, and that's where I, I, I strive to, to be faithful in, in during, the, during this uncertainty. Yeah. Uh, what's ahead, I don't know. But certainly, you know, it's, it's a question uh, that I will constantly check back with him. 
yeah it's a relationship and it's not a once a month relationship it's a daily constant relationship you have seen how people's lives have been disrupted many have also mentioned that their faith has been relevant in helping them cope with the crisis of covid 19. now bgsd has come up with a series of webinars called work interrupted where we shall explore the biblical and spiritual formation principles that can help students christians cope with and even flourish during this pandemic join us